that mega thrust earthquake, the 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake on the Kamchatka Peninsula seems to have triggered more volcanoes. So a long dormant Russian volcano guys erupts for the first time in centuries and scientists say it is triggered by the earthquakes. So the eruption of the Krashenikov volcano that just happened shows us stunning pictures what the volcano is doing. And it's located in Russia's far east. And probably that is triggered by, we have to say, ongoing seismic events in high magnitudes. We just had another 7.0 that was later downgraded to 6.9 and then another 6.5. They keep coming in the 6 up to 7 range. Are they aftershocks of the magnitude 8.8 .8, or are they even foreshocks for something worse? This is the question. But we remember right after the earthquake, there was another volcano that was triggered. Kuchevskoy, the volcano, we saw the headlines. Russian volcano explodes in powerful eruption, likely even intensified by the magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquakes, because it's the same region. But the Krashenikov volcano has really erupted unexpectedly. That's what the scientists are saying. And the mega thrust earthquake probably triggered this eruption. It's, it's also located, of course, on the Kamchatka Peninsula. And this eruption was not expected because this one was basically considered dormant. It erupted yesterday evening after, yeah, 500, over 560 years of doing nothing. The ashes that it spewed when it first woke up it spooted up as high as 3.5 miles up in the air, almost 4,500 meters, and that was not it. Then further reports followed that said, gosh, now the volcano is increasing its activity. So just a few hours later, the volcanic ash was basically spooed twice the height from its initial eruption. It was spewed up above seven miles above sea level. The ash was spewed up in like a towering column. Absolutely amazing pictures when they started to fly over this remote region with planes. And now reports are coming in. We're hearing from scientists, especially from volcanologists of the Russian Academy of Sciences, and they also, they really think that this eruption of this volcano that has shown no signs of a potential eruption in the weeks, days, months before that mega thrust earthquake, they say the volcano has been inconspicuous and that what's happening now could be triggered by these strong earthquakes of the southeast coast of Kamchatka doesn't have to be only the 8.8 .8 that this is the culprit. We've seen four shocks, massive four shocks, a 7.4 where everyone thought that's the main shock. And then now five, 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 six, six, six. It's, it's, it's mind blowing how many strong aftershocks we have right now. And this constant rattling and shaking could have triggered these volcanoes. The scientists have told the press that this is the first documented eruption in a range of five to six hundred years. And they definitely see a connection with the earthquake. And there is a theory because we have a subduction zone here and we know, at least if you watch my channel guys for a long time, that along these subduction zones, especially along the Pacific Ring of Fire, um, we see a lot of volcanoes. So the theory that volcanic eruptions can be caused by distant tectonic earthquakes of larger magnitude 
this is already a theory. Now this was not distant. This was basically right underneath the volcano. So this theory assumes that this is only possible with volcanoes that are already charged and would have likely erupted sooner or later, even without a triggering earthquake. But here, this volcano, there were no signs that it has been charging. So that's why it is so unusual that this volcano has erupted so spontaneously out of nowhere. It can happen, you know? So don't fool yourself. If a volcano is considered dormant, that can change. They can wake up. I mean, look at what's happening in Iceland right now. So many centuries of dormancy and now on the Reykjanes Peninsula, one eruption after the other. Chile, the Chitin volcano, has erupted unexpectedly and catastrophically, unfortunately, in 2008, after even thousands and thousands of years of being dormant. The Krasenikov volcano is not super, super tall, but it is a, it is a, a tall mountain. It's roughly 1.5 miles high, 1,856 meters. And when we look back, the last eruption occurred in 1463. Some scientists have it at 1550. That's why the time span, if you read articles or if you hear scientists in interviews, there is anything 450 to 600 years in that time frame. So it is a stratovolcano. And it's quite an interesting structure. It's not just like something like Vesuvius with one caldera. It is a caldera and inside of that caldera, basically we have two stratovolcanoes that are kind of growing or stuck together and each of them has its own crater. Very interesting structure. So how far how far away is it from the actual epicenter of the magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake and of all these aftershocks? It's quite close. It's roughly 130 miles away. So that's nothing. It's located near the east coast of the Kamchatka Peninsula. So also not far from the regional capital of Kamchatka. So that that city gets both the volcanoes and the earthquakes, it seems, and the tsunamis. So this is an area with multiple volcanoes. Just 50 miles from Krasenikov, we also have the Karmsky volcano, very, very close together. That has erupted in the spring. And then there is only roughly 100 miles to the north. There is another volcanic group. They call this the Kamchatka Central Volcanic Group. And this is also where we have, I mentioned it earlier, the Klitschevskoy volcano. So will we see more volcanoes erupting if, especially if these aftershocks continue at such strong magnitudes? So Klitschevskoy really has reacted to the earthquakes and has increased eruptive activity only a few hours later. So now we have the second volcano that really seems to be connected with these earthquakes. And it's not over yet. Who knows how long we will see these strong aftershocks. We just had a 6.7 just shortly before I started this video, guys. So this is crazy. I think we should have a close eye on this region and I'm doing this for you. I hope you liked it. Check out the videos in the end screen. Crazy things are going on. Absolute crazy landslide, dust storms. Just check the videos in the end screen. If you want to support the channel, if you want to fill me up with coffee, check the links in the description. I have a buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. Leave me a message. I will answer all of you with a 30 second video message. 
and uh, we can chat with each other. Thank you for your supers here on YouTube. And if you want to see more behind the scenes, I have quite the task that I'm starting today. I will put it in my membership level. Click the join button for an exclusive supportive membership of the channel. And I hope I see you in a second if you click one of these videos in the end screen. Take care, guys. Be safe. Bye-bye.